looks like we're live. Hey everyone. <laughs> oh man, these hiccups are real. Okay. First, let me check to see what the screen shows. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, weird. Okay. We are back with another plan with me. I don't know why I've been in a theme song mood, but I've been there. Okay, so this is the spread from last week. Also, I just realized my camera is upside down. Hold on. Got to fix my camera. I'm still here. <laughs> Okay, that's not it. You guys got to see all the mess that fell off my desk. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Denise. Okay, just realized it was backwards when I was showing y'all. So pretty eventful spread last week. That's what it looked like at the end. Uh... Sometimes the pages in my journal are glued together a little too much and they don't lay down the right way. All right, we're like halfway through, we're like halfway through this bullet journal. So that's pretty good. Um, let's see. We have, this is technically the last full week of March. And so... I think we're going to do a live plan with me for the month of April. Um, next week, I think we might have to do it on Saturday. I'll have to look. But also let me know if y'all are okay with that. So for today's spread, I was actually looking through my old, excuse me, looking through my old Pinterest folder. And I came across this spread which i know you cannot really tell right now but it's a very simple spread and it had weather sheets or it, it used weather emoji emojis emoji something words they used weather ones so i figured why not use my weather emojis because i don't think a lot of people realize that i even have them in the shop in the first place so before this live, I actually printed out some fresh ones for my for this administration. <laughs> so today we're going to be using, I think, mostly melanin eclectic stickers. Um, so the lighting just changed dramatically in here. It's like the sun went, the, the sun started setting as soon as I started recording. There we go. So the cloudy ones, I realize now that we're, these are going to get updated as much as they look good, like drawing wise, they don't print very well. I've gotten it to print a little better where you can actually see the clouds, but I think I'm going to have to go in and add some more gray so we can really get the cloudy look of the clouds. So that's a fix. We also have sunny which I printed off a bunch of those because I live in Texas. It's kind of sunny a lot. Uh, we also have windy for those random windy days and partly cloudy, which again is partly cloudy is also going to get a makeover. So we have those. Um, I don't really think there's much going on this week. There's not much going on, but I'm going to use like a simple color kind of want to do the yellow so we're gonna do we're gonna do a yellow pins i haven't used in a long time again trying to use what i already have and it is a funny mess of a struggle um yeah so the tombow that i'm using today is the tombow in 991 it's just the softer yellow so in this picture, we also need a pencil. 
so we can sketch out the plan. I got my pencil. And on this one, it just has a simple days of the week. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix this lighting. I thought I was going to be able to just use um, lighting from my window, but apparently not. Also, if you're planning with me, as always, let me know what you're planning or what you're in. Are you in are you in your regular day-to-day, -day, your work planner? Are you in your reading planner by chance? Please let me know. So there's like one, two. So here is where the calendar is. Our calendar started on the first, and then six, thirteen, twenty, and twenty seven, with it ending on Thursday as the thirty first. Okay. Hmm. Oop, nineteen. 26. There you go. Then for the same one, two, for the same space, we're going to do the weather, which I like doing. It's like I don't need to do weather. I don't need to do weather in my planner all the time, but I like it. So that's one, two, so it's three lines. One, two, three. One, two, three. Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. It appears, well, I guess it doesn't matter because, um, yeah, so we can do a little weather thing because I just want to use my weather emojis. And <laughs> I'm going to do we're going to do four on this side and four on this side. So my measurement page, 38 divided by four is like eight. Hey, Tati. Thanks for coming. <laughs> okay. I have zero energy today. Am I the only person that's feeling this way? I feel so blah. Okay, so we're going to skip this line and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, that's a work. Hmm. I feel like we could like give every one of these one more line. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's just one more line. I think I actually have a lot of stuff to do on this on this coming Wednesday. So We'll let that be the big box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, listen, I don't know what it is about daylight savings time. It's like you can never recover. But you know they like uh, Congress as a whole agreed to end daylight savings time. 
It's just that we won't actually see the the effects of it until 2023. But then even then it's going to be a little weird because we would be operating at a time that's like not the same as the rest of the world. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that works if that actually is a true thing. Oh, we're going to be using my stickers. I don't want, I don't want abbreviated days of the week this time. I want full days of the week. And again, we all know Brittany still has not put her stickers all the way in her sticker book. I know we'll need this. I know we'll need some importance. I probably need a reminder today. We've got some to do's. I want to use that one. These go in my reading planner. I know I need that one. Hmm. I wonder where these two went. I could possibly use that one. Not really. I haven't really. No, I want to use these. Those are my favorite ones, the bounce letter fonts. And I think, I think I want to use the clear ones. I do want to mark my cardio. We have a book discussion at the end of this week, but that one's a messed up one. I do have a book shopping thing with a friend. And are there any bills that need to be paid? Yep. So we'll use that. Yeah. So oh wow. I had no idea. I mean, children were coming home from school in the dark and they were getting hit by cars. That's crazy for so many different reasons. Like, dang, we went to back to daylight savings time because people were hitting children with their cars. Crazy. Okay, I'm gonna just hold this like right. We're gonna put this over here. And I think I'm just gonna use um, for the lines, I'm going to use a smaller micron, so I probably want to use a point two or a point. I'll use a point three if I have to, but I'd rather use a smaller one. Point two. As usual, I like to write in. Um, I like to write in things before I place them, so. Disney Plus is an auto pay, so that's not a big deal. So this is my car note. This is my third to last car note. Very excited. We'll be paying my car off. Super, super excited. <laughs> um, we also have, we have an important reminder too. So let me just, let me color everything in that I have, and then we can start laying stickers and color down. I always do that. For some reason, I always mess up 22. But we're going to keep it there. And y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Are y'all looking forward to anything? Um, are y'all looking forward to anything that's this week? I get to hang out with the friend that I haven't hung out with in years on Saturday. So I'm really happy with that. Actually, it's just, I haven't been working on my handwriting lately and I feel like my handwriting has gotten very ugly. 
I don't know if I'm the only person who feels that way about when they don't practice their handwriting in a while. Like I've been doing so much digital work that it's like my cute little bounce that I used to love doing. I don't like it anymore. Like, I don't know. Don't like it anymore. So we'll definitely have to do that. I'm seriously debating on doing like handwriting sprints and stuff for the months, for the month of April, just to try it out and see how I like it. But I also feel like I might be team too much in that regard, like just picking like word prompts for the month and then having lives where we just work on our handwriting and, you know, oh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I completely skipped this space. That's why I was all the way down there. <laughs> Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Ah, I went over a line. That's fine. I was following this S and not this S. That's cool. And I probably should have did this line first to prevent any potential smudging. Uh, I, I messed up a lot on this. <laughs> I, I messed up a lot. That looks really bad. <laughs> but we're gonna keep it anyway. Oh well. Uh, you know, sometimes when you work on spreads and you have an idea, it comes out real ugly. But <laughs> oh man, it's completely fine. We're we're gonna make it work anyway. I also meant to outline that in the Tombow instead of the mark instead of the micron. So not the spread look I was going for, but it's fine. Yeah. My handwriting looks really iffy. Ugh. So it's still March. And yeah. So let's do some. Mm -hmm. Probably should have did. Probably should have took it a line further down. Hold on. Yeah, because we're going to color in this. And we're going to color in this. And. We're going to color in this. And. <laughs> the squeaks. <laughs> this and this. And I mean, maybe we should just give them these lines because my marker lines have been pretty rough. And it is also this week and I want to start it here and I'll move that down one. I feel like sometimes my pencil does not want to erase when I go over it with marker. Like, just out here being rude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll leave the other side where it is. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the same thing. I hope these simple spreads are like giving you guys what you want. Um, I think I'm going to stick to, I think for, yeah, I think for April, I'm going to stick to one theme for the whole month. So whatever I pick the theme for April to be, then that's what we're going to have to draw for the thing. And I'm thinking of doing something that's really easy for myself. Uh, and something easy for me is like flowers and just... Um, maybe every week doing a different flower with a different color, that kind of thing. I think that would be pretty, I think that would be really pretty. Okay, sticker. I know I don't have any nails and I know I don't have my tweezers as they are downstairs, but work with me. Okay. I like this yellow. It's almost like a marigold kind of yellow. It's got a lot of orange, so I guess it's got a lot of it's got some red in it. I like that idea. I think that'll be fun. And then um, plus, it'll be something that's challenging for me to do. Um, I might just pick the flowers in advance. Not really sure. We're going to see how that plays out. Or I might let you guys pick the flower for the week and then go from there. But if that's the case, then we're about to do another floral Um we're about to do another floral bullet journal, which I'm sure some of you guys do not mind. But drawing floral patterns and reefs and all that kind of stuff, I love drawing those. They're very relaxing to draw. So my question then becomes for the April plan with me, since you guys are here would you guys like the april plan with me to be live and you know it just be a really long live show or do you guys want it to be pre-recorded and just shortened and edited because those also work for me as well <laughs> I like that color. Hmm. Why have I not chosen this color before? So we have the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25, 26th, and 27th. Okay. So Cardinal is due on the 23rd. I'm just going to put down all the stickers that I know already exist in places. So this is the card note day. Um, I also have a reminder involving my insurance. I need to call them. So we're going to give that an important one. And I'm going to give that a task for tomorrow. Hmm. My stickers for my sticker machine printed a little off on me. So I also need to go and edit these stickers because I don't want that much room left in the bottom. To be honest, I don't know which one's easier for me when it comes to doing like plan with me's 
I don't know. Also, the pen that I'm currently obsessed with for writing in my planner is the High Tech C 0.25. It's a super small nibbed pen, but I love it. Uh, contacts. Since today, they're not working, which, you know, valid. Um, I know that I have an important package arriving on the 22nd. And this should be, this should be um, some of my new journals for the shop. So I'm just going to write journals because yeah so there should be there's going to be some new journals that are going to be interesting I'm also trying out like a new one um <laughs> my little meetup group with my friends they have a special sticker actually Saturday appears to be a huge like hang out with friends day for me so we have this at nine and yeah my brain just just left the building on that one whoa um i'm not gonna use my to-do stickers because do i have any major reminders for this week no I still have my cardio days. So again, these are just my cardio script stickers. Also, hey, Stephanie. Um, we have cardio, cardio, cardio days. It's been weird because going back to work um, some of the days, like I'm in the office this, I'm in the office this week only on Wednesday. Um, so that's a blessing, but that also means like I do my workout. I do my workout after I come home from work and man, trying to readjust back to, um, trying to readjust back to that type of life where it's actually coming home from work and needing to decompress. That's crazy because I don't miss it at all. But yeah, I've added more cardio days to my life. I'll be doing a, if you guys don't know, on my regular Melanin Eclectic Instagram, like I talk about, I talk about my weight loss and my desire to get healthier and stronger. Uh, <laughs> um, so we also have... We have we have a book shopping day with the homies on Saturday and I don't have any I don't have any book shopping stickers in my planner anymore. Dang. Oh wait, that's because I printed them out here. <laughs> so we're gonna do some book shopping and sushi with the homies on Saturday after she gets off work. This is like my ultimate social hour. So we're doing book shopping and then I think that I'm going to move the melanin. I was going to move the melanin eclectic plan with me um, to Saturday of next week. And that's because I have a lot of stuff happening on the 27th. Excuse me. So I think that for this week only, I think we're going to move the plan with me to Saturday and I think we're going to move the plan with me up to like one o'clock. That might be the vibe. Um, I'm trying to leave room in the, oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> I'm trying to leave room in the middle of Saturday so I can write, you know, if I have any other special things that I need to do. But I think I'm going to move the plan with me for next week so that we could probably do the whole April setup. It's either doing the April setup or completely closing out my March stuff. So that's like filling in my budget stuff, all that stuff, because I haven't really been filling in anything this month and I need to do a lot of backtracking. 
And then we could also do some backfilling in for our reading planner. And I think I'm going to try to do something because I've read zero books this month. Um, so I think I might do some artwork in my reading planner for the pages since it's going to be like a pretty empty month and I already like filled it out assuming that I was going to read. So we're going to do some art maybe. So I'm going to move that to 1 p.m. on Saturday. And on the 25th, I actually need, I want a reminder sticker because I want to remind myself to ensure that that subscription is completely ended. I broke some, my nails just keep breaking off and now I'm over here with nibs. <sighs> I have a workshop that I have to do today. Um, learning about manufacturing and stuff. And what I'm hoping that I get from my class today is that I can figure out a better way to find a manufacturer for the planners and journals and stuff that I'm trying to make. Um, I would love it if I could find a one-stop shop type thing. So what did I say my reminder was? Oh, double check. Do, 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 do. I have little trash stickers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't feel bad. You know how I broke my nail this morning? I broke my nail opening my orange juice. It was the most disrespectful moment. Like I kind of just sat there and I felt like the orange juice was staring back at me like loser. <laughs> because it was just like, how did I break my nail on this? Like, how did I break my nail? There's no logical reason that I broke my nail. Also, if you guys didn't know, on Sunday, Sunday coming up at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time is the Black Pros Club discussion for uh, Goliath. So that's also something that I have. Well, I guess I'd say I haven't read any books Wait, have I? I feel like I've read a book or two this month. To be honest, I don't know. I actually do need to look at my reading planner. <laughs> but I know that I'm currently reading Goliath and uh, it's interesting. That's what I can say. Uh, this is the, one of the few times I will ever say I don't recommend the uh, audiobook. <laughs> My nails are very childish. I can't figure out how people, me neither. I was just telling my friend this because my mom has very strong, thick nails and mine are not. Mine are like crusty, dusty, fragile. And on a regular basis, they stay disrespecting me. Like on a regular basis, they stay being mean and hateful. Oh, that's right. I've been doing yoga on Sunday mornings. Man, it has been feeling really good. So I'm going to keep that up. Again, the yoga stickers, cardio sticker. Actually, all the stickers that I'm using are in my shop. <laughs> also, um, a part of my Saturday routine is normally this. But I, well... I'm off on Friday this week, so we're going to water plants on Friday because it's getting to that season, like right before the spring season, all of my plants get like a nice little fertilizer kind of rinse and yeah. Also for my scheduled day off today, as in like I just take a break, you know, for the week, we are doing this one. I forgot who made these stickers. I think it's like Little Planet or something like that. All I know is I want to make, I want to make game controller. I want to make a new one for my PS5. And then I also want to make a Switch one because, you know, I play different ones on different days. Also, 
we also want to use this reminder because as I'm getting closer to that time of the year, this is my little rotate plant reminder. I'm going to redo these two. I realize that their pots are really basic and maybe that's why uh, people don't like them. <laughs> so we're going to do that. And then I'll get to the weather ones in a second. Oh, I've been using my, this is my little Simone. So every Sunday I kind of do a deep clean of, of one thing in my house is so like this Sunday was bathrooms. So I'm going to do a deep scrub, probably not a deep scrub, but like wipe down like window sills and stuff. So I'll probably do the bedrooms, uh, give the guest rooms upstairs, like a nice dusting and, um, you know, shake out the sheets and all that stuff. Is there anything else? That's what I want. I just want to use the sticker because I always forget that I have them. I need to do some melanin eclectic yoga stickers. <laughs> okay. I think, I think that that's all. Because the rest of my stuff goes into my business planner. So let's do some weather. I'm glad that you're not, that I'm not the only one with disrespectful nails. Like, I don't understand. I really want my nails to be stronger. And I've even taken like biotin. I've tried like the, the gummy, the really good gummies that are for like hair hair, nails, and skin. I've done those gummies. They're not, nothing works. Like nothing works at all. <sighs> Let's see. Tomorrow, it is forecasted to basically rain. So, Monday and Tuesday, it's supposed to rain. Not thunderstorm. So, we're not going to use my thunder girl. But we are going to use my rain girl. Rain is just a simple one with the blue dots. Then on Wednesday, it is forecasted to be sunny. Actually, it's forecasted to be sunny the rest of the week. Hopefully, they don't change. Do, do. Yay. no variety in my weather stickers. I'm kind of sad. Like last week would have been a perfect time to reprint my stickers and use them. <laughs> awesome. So we have, I don't know where my trash stickers are or if I didn't print out more. I thought I had more. Anyways, the forecast is supposed to be a high of 75 and a low of 61. Oh, it's going to be muggy. Kind of like this high low thing. So we're going to put high and low. Oh, it's going to be muggy and gross. So we have a high of 78 and a low of 50. 68. Oh, I don't know why. I just do that all the time. 68. 45. 70. 46. This is my sinuses are going to be inflaming. Jesus, we're going to be 80 degrees as a high and our low is going to be 46. Gotta love the 40 degree difference. Gotta love it. And then Saturday, it's 78 
and 53. And Sunday is 75 and 52. So, yay. <laughs> I have, no, no, no. There should be trash stickers in my shop. Hold on. While we're saying that, let me check. Because I could have sworn that the trash stickers were still up. Okay. Give me. Also, yeah, the trash reminder stickers are definitely still there. If you search in the search bar and put in trash, it'll take you straight to it. I'm also trying to figure out how to very navigate my, make my site easier to navigate. Yeah. So I'm like, I know that I printed out trash stickers. It's just that while I was moving stickers, because technically they should be in this section, which is the second section, which is functional doodle stickers. Whereas the first one is functional script stickers. And I'm like, there's a space where the trash cans are supposed to be, but there's no trash can. And these are all the stickers that some of them I'm going, I'm putting them in. Like I do this kind of stuff, like when I'm in meetings and I need to stay awake, I'm not even going to front. So I'm like, where are the trash stickers? Trash? No, no. Ugh, there really is no trash sticker. I know I have some. I always keep trash stickers because like you use them so fast. Sorry guys, I have a stack of stuff over here. Man. Maybe I have some in my oopsie pile. It's very possible. But yeah, I guess I need new trash stickers. Okay. <laughs> yeah no problem um when i get off the phone or when i get off the phone <laughs> when i get off of this live with you guys i'm gonna be filling orders that were placed last week i'm realizing right now just because i'm trying to readjust to a new work schedule again that um i've been filling orders twice a week so i've been filling orders on wednesdays and sundays um and then when I have time, I've been printing out more stickers so I can have more um, more stickers. So I can have a better stash of stickers like this is this is my newest bin. So I've been labeling them and we're getting ready to like fill up all of these so that when I get orders during the week, um, I can just pull from there and, you know, go faster because. Yeah, just trying to adjust to the week has been a mess. Okay, so is there anything else that I'm missing for this? Oh, I'm missing the podcast for Black Pros. I want to just might as well. We're going to just put podcast in the corner. So, like I always say, I'm a part of Black Pros Club, and this week's podcast discussion is Respect My Boundaries. Um, so we'll be doing that one, and then um, on Thursday on Black Pros Club, we have BBC TV, and this is where we talk about like TV shows that we're watching and stuff like that, and since the courtship is canceled. Um, excuse me, since the courtship is canceled, we decided that we're going to move on to another idea that we've had for a while. And that is trying to get Oshale, um, AKA Oshi reads into anime. And we're thinking that we're going to start her off with like slice of life. Um, ones that are like really cutesy, romancy type ones. That's, that's the goal. So the topic is respect my boundaries.
and this one is at uh, 6 p.m. my time. And then I'm just going to title this um, Au Chalet Part 1. I'm sure she'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> and this one is at 6 my time. <sighs> okay. I think I'm, I'm just double checking to make sure that I don't have anything else that I might have forgotten. Oh, so I normally put in like my tides and my savings um, as a bill because in my mind, if I treat it, if I treat it like a bill, then, you know, I'm, I'm focused on it. I'm going to pay it, that kind of thing. And I treat my savings like I should be submitting the bill because I have a goal that I want to achieve in all of my savings accounts. So I'm going to write, what am I going to write in here? Ties and savings, because those are just easy. Um, let me double check. Oh, I plan to do, oh, that's another thing. Um, Wednesday is post all planner, all throwback a thon. Graphics with links. <laughs> Tuesday is normally my edit day for videos. And this is a fill order day. I just put these in the task list, like regardless. Um, yeah, that isn't too bad. That is the spread for this week. I like the yellow. I really like this yellow. I don't really use it much. I mean, you can still see the number very well. So that's how I know that I don't use this color a lot because you can still see the number perfectly. Huh. Okay. Would you guys like to see any of my other planners today or would you guys like to just deep dive into yours? Oh, if anybody has any questions about uh, the Dragon Ball Z release that I just announced, you can totally ask me that question like right here. Um, if I have my Apple pen, I can make some, I can show you guys my stuff, but... <clears throat> Let me just show you guys since you're here. I'm very excited about the Dragon Ball Z uh, release. I've been wanting to do Dragon Ball Z for a hot little minute, but I wanted to make sure that the fourth character was introduced um, so that I could use everyone. But also I can't show you. I have to make sure I click on the right stuff because you can't see the other stuff because that's for upcoming months of fun. Okay. So this is what this is what the notebook looks like or the notepad for this one. This is what the notepad looks like. Again, super excited to do Dragon Ball Z. So obviously I wanted a notepad. And this one, unlike the other one, is just lined, not grid, because I know some of you prefer 
um, not to have the grid look, you prefer lines. And I know there are somebody that's going to say, I prefer mine to be completely blank. I also hear you as well, but you know, one at a time. <laughs> so these will be in the release. Then currently trying to figure out if I want to make this a print. Um, this is my gender bent Goku. Um, I really like her. She took me a really long time to do. Uh, there was a lot of struggling in this drawing. Uh, like the hands were definitely a struggle, but I'm trying to decide if this should be a print. Um, if it is a print, it's probably going to be like, you know, a, my regular size. I think our, I think I might make it like five by seven, I think. Um, something a little bit smaller, unless people want this bigger. But as of right now, it'll be offered, I think, as a small print. So, yeah. Then, because I know we also all love books. This is the bookmark for the release. So let me add a background in. Oh, that is the background. It just can't focus with the black. So, yeah. And then obviously each one of the characters will have their own. Um, I ordered some vinyl stickers um, of the Dragon Ball characters. And to make a note, these vinyl stickers are going to be much bigger than the previous vinyl stickers that are in my shop. So the the ones in my shop now are like, I think they're like two inches probably. And the ones that I ordered for the Dragon Ball Z, um, those are going to be, I think, three, three to three and a half inches tall. So um, we're getting bigger ones. And for that, again, let me hold on because I can't. <laughs> Got to make sure I show you all the right ones. So... We have, for the vinyl stickers, we have Vegeta Eli, and he's going to actually, I only ordered one skin tone, so he'll be in the medium skin tone in the vinyl stickers, but as usual, all of my stickers come in three different skin tones, so you can pick, or all of my regular stickers come in three different skin tones. The vinyl stickers, um, the thick ones, the ones that are like this. Um, they come in, they will, for these, they will come in one skin tone. I have to keep lifting up the iPad. Sorry, guys. Um, the next vinyl sticker that we have is Bulma and it's Karen cosplaying as Bulma. So we have this one. This one will also be a vinyl sticker as well. Um, so if you want the ones that are more durable, where you can put them on like your laptop covers, journal covers, like that kind of thing. And they're a lot more durable. They have more plastic feel to them. This is one of the ones you can get. Then obviously we did Frieza, which I think is funny. Um, you know, some people might not find it funny, but I found it funny that Frieza is being played. Tori is playing Frieza, <laughs> which again, hilarious. In my personal opinion and her skin tone will also be medium and then for simone simone is going to be dark goku and i was wondering so this is dark goku i was wondering if you guys would like this one as a print because i was playing around with the background and i kind of love it so i was wondering if you guys would like this as a small print as well um, if you're watching this on playback, feel free to leave a comment if you're interested. I kind of want her. So if anything, I will at least order one. Um, but I figured I could order like a small batch, like, you know, a small batch of these for anybody that was interested. But this is obviously my favorite one. Um, but all of the Dragon Ball Z characters are my favorites. And because you've all been sticking around for so long, and putting up with my plan with me's and coming to join me, let me show you a preview of what is coming for the month of May. And I'm only going to show one picture. Uh, keep in mind, it's not finished yet. I'm still working on it. 
but this is what's coming in May. So on that note, I thank you guys for coming. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to go get some water, probably take a power nap. I have, like I said, I have a, a training, like a workshop training thing um, to do this afternoon. So if you are, uh, if you're anything like my friend Tati, uh, this is for you. I know you guys have requested my the centaur world a lot. And I just want y'all to know drawing centaurs is really, really hard. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Happy birthday to Tati. But yeah, so we did our we did our bullet journal. I'm satisfied with the bullet journal. Um, I will do my business planner off screen today, but y'all stay lit and I'll talk to you guys next week. I think I'll probably post one video on this channel that's not alive, but we'll get there. <laughs> Bye guys. Backwards mouse. Okay, there we go.